I'm going to introduce the next laureates, and introducing the next laureate is really a distinct honor for me. The next 2017 Canada Gairdner International Award goes to Dr. Lewis Kay. And Dr. Kay is a proud Canadian, born and educated in Alberta. He now calls Toronto home, where he's professor in the Department of Molecular Genetics, Biochemistry and Chemistry, University of Toronto, and a senior scientist at the Hospital for Sick Children. I count him as a colleague and as a friend, and so it's a very special pleasure for me to see him receive this award. So Professor Kay and his co-workers have made incredibly important contributions to the field of biomolecular and nuclear magnetic resonance, NMR spectroscopy, with the development of methods that allow you to visualize protein molecules in their natural solution environment and to obtain information about how their shapes evolve in time, so really the dynamics of how molecules behave. And these methodologies have shed light on how molecules involved in neurodegeneration, for example, can form abnormal structures that ultimately lead to disease states. In addition, his work has extended our understanding of how cellular machines function and how communication between different parts of these machines can be targeted to develop drugs in the fight against cancer and other areas. And so it's really important that Gardner has extended its recognition to this broad field of spectroscopy, macromolecular NMR, biophysics, the fundamental tools that are used to understand how molecules work. And it's a great pleasure to specifically recognize Dr. K because the methods that he has developed are recognized worldwide as fundamental to all studies using NMR to study molecular dynamics in normal and disease contexts. So we're fortunate to have Dr. K with us in person this morning to share a few words about his research. So please congratulate Dr. Lewis K. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, Janet, for that wonderful introduction. I'd like to begin uh, this morning by thanking the Gairdner Foundation uh, for this breakfast. There's an old saying that there's no such thing as a free lunch, but I think it could also be extended to breakfasts. The other day, I did a quick back-of-the-envelope calculation in terms of what it might have cost the Canadian taxpayers to have me at this breakfast. Assuming that approximately half of my 60-plus trainees were paid from CIHR or NSERC fellowships, and that the average lifetime of a trainee is four years, uh, I should quantify that, the average lifetime of a trainee in my lab, and taking into account all of the grants that I have received, salary, support, incredibly expensive equipment, it adds up to approximately $20 million. Well, all I can say is, what a bargain and how incredibly lucky I really am. I'm incredibly lucky to have had a stream of supportive department chairs who have left me be to pursue my scientific interests without encumbering me with administrative stuff. Actually, I have no administrative stuff. I'm incredibly lucky to have had an extremely supportive U of T and HSC, Hospital for Sick Kids, administration for financing a proper home for our NMR equipment and to CAHR, NSERC, CFI, CRC, CFAR, ORF for their funding. I'm extremely lucky to continue uh, to have the opportunity to work with some very brilliant, dedicated, and hardworking young scientists who have taught me far more than I could them. I'm incredibly lucky to have had a group of supporters who have far more confidence in what I deserve than I and who don't give up. I'm incredibly grateful to the Gairdner Foundation for recognizing that a biophysicist with very little BIO and a pretty big PHI deserves an award, PHY. And closer to home, I'm incredibly grateful to the support, encouragement, and love that I get from my parents and my immediate family, Julie, Ruffy, and Shira, who are prepared mostly to take me as I am. So what does winning a Gairdner really mean to me? Well, in today's new era of science, where research is supposed to be translational, and applicable, very important and terribly relevant, and easily describable in 10,500 characters and in timelines, it means that there is still room for discovery, still relevance in being curious, even if the basic questions seem irrelevant, because that big discovery could be just around the corner 
And besides, the relevancy has a funny way of becoming incredibly relevant in about 20 femtoseconds. That is the beauty of science, you just never know. And so, when I am doing an experiment and the results are obscure and indecipherable, when I can't get my machine to do what I want, when I can't find that darn minus sign in one of my many equations, and when I get yet another paper rejected, I'll remember back to the Gardner and to the encouragement and support that I received from some really smart people, and I will be calm. And I'm, for that, I am incredibly grateful. And so thank you to Janet and the Gardner Committee for your tremendous gift. And now, ladies and gentlemen, at $20 million, I think that I had better get back to my breakfast. Thank you so very, very much. <laughs>